In this video, I'm going to show you detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the battery on the Samsung S21. To begin this repair, you will need to heat up the back cover a little bit. You can use a hair dryer, a heat gun. I've had this one on the heat mat set to 85 degrees C for the last five minutes. And once it's heated up, we're going to take a razor blade and create a small gap between the mid-frame bezel and the back cover. And we're going to pry up slowly on that gap so that we've got a larger gap, big enough to fit our plastic pick in this time. And then we're going to run that around the edges to separate the back cover from the phone. If you come across any resistance when removing the cover, use a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol just to soften the adhesive up a little bit more. And you're going to find that this comes away quite easily as long as the phone is warm enough. And we're going to take that around and I'm gonna pry up at this point because this camera lens area comes off with it. Follow it back around on this side and then same again on this edge. And then hopefully this thing is just gonna pop up real nicely like that. And we can just lift up the back cover and that's off. Now that we're inside the phone, we're gonna remove these five crosshead screws that hold down the metal shield on the back cover. Don't worry too much about mixing up the screws whilst you're removing them because they are all the same size. And if you like repair content just like this, make sure that you hit that subscribe button for more content just like it. With those screws removed, we can now lift up this metal shield here. Then we're going to take the plastic spudger and disconnect this flex cable here to release the wireless charging coil from the back. It's stuck down to the speaker. You can just peel that back to remove it completely. Now we're going to isolate power from the device by disconnecting the battery, followed by the button flex, the display flex, sub to main flex, and antenna flex. Now that those cables are disconnected, we're just going to bend them back like this to get them out of the way of the battery. Be careful not to fold them though. And then we're going to take the isopropyl alcohol again and just apply a bead of it all the way around the battery. I'm gonna leave that to soak in for about five minutes now. Now, at this point, I would normally use the suction cup to get hold of the battery. However, it doesn't seem to be sticking because of the swelling of this one. And it's moving around a lot, so I'm gonna guess that it's been out before. So I'm just gonna use the plastic guitar pick that we used to remove the back cover. I can see that there's some swelling on this battery with the loose cover on there. Now that the battery's out of there, we're going to just mop up that isopropyl alcohol that was in there. And then we're going to make sure that the old adhesive's removed too by just rubbing your finger on it or thumb to get that out of the way. If you've watched the channel for a little while, you'll know that we always use the genuine parts where we can. And this battery is no exception. And I will try and remember to leave the link where you can buy this part in the description below. The, it comes with the adhesive already pre-applied and all I have to do is pop the battery back into where it belongs. Watch out for that button flex getting in the way like I've done here. And then just apply some pressure with your thumb to make sure that it's stuck down nicely. There is one last little peel on the back of the battery there. Remove that little plastic sheet. And now we can reconnect the display cable sub to main flex, antenna cable, button cable, and finally, just need to do a little bit of folding of this battery cable to make sure it sits in the right place. And then I'll reattach that button cable. There's not gonna be any harm done reattaching a button flex with the battery plugged in. Same as that NFC antenna and wireless charging coil. We can reattach that now, fold the shield back over, make sure it's stuck down onto that speaker, and finally re-secure those five screws that hold down the metal shield. Using isopropyl alcohol around the edges and a cleaning wipe, Remove all the leftover adhesive from the back edges of the device, making sure that it's really nice and clean 
for the back cover to be reinstalled on. Repeat the same, making sure that the back cover is nice and clean as well. And then because I couldn't get the official seal for this one, we're going to make up our own using double-sided tesser tape. I'm using a mixture of 10 mil and 5 mil, and we just make it fit nicely, nice and snug around the edges. And then use a single-sided razor blade to cut it into the edges and into shape. Now that that's taped up, we can just peel off the back peel of the tape and then carefully line up the back cover and apply pressure on all four edges to make sure that it's stuck down nice and solid. And you can now power on your device, ensure it's charging and working properly. That just about completes this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.